So I got John Deere 318 garden tractor. Battery voltage right now is showing 1260 something. Let's um test it. It's 550 cold cranking amps. It says good battery. 522 cold cranking amps. Resistance is 5.96, it's pretty good. So with this having a charging problem, first thing I want to do is make sure we have a good battery. Without a good battery, it's kind of like trying to tune your car with bad gas in it. It just doesn't work well. So we have a good battery. Let's um, <clears throat> try to start this up. Then we'll see what the battery is when it's revved up a little bit. So I don't know what you'll be able to hear. So right there you got 12.4 volts running. Turn it off, it automatically starts jumping up. So that's a sure sign we're not charging. So, first thing we're going to do is check to see if we got any power at that voltage regulator. We can check the stator also and make sure we have um, everything we need to charge. Okay, now here's your rectifier regulator. Typically these will have three wires on them. The two outside ones are a lot of times the same color. They go into the stator under the flywheel. The center one is battery. And then you'll have this bolt here that hooks it to the metal shroud that's supposed to ground it. If you have any issues where you think you're not grounded, put an eyelet on a wire and ground this thing because it has to be grounded. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to get a test light and I want to see if I turn the key on if I have power at the center terminal. Now I'm going to hook this test light to the negative battery terminal. I'm going to turn the key on and then with the test light if we touch right there hey we got power that's that's good. Having power here means that we know that this wire has a direct route to battery power. So that means if the charge comes out of this wire, it can get to the battery and charge the battery. So that's the first thing we need to test. Now I'm going to take this and hook it to the positive battery terminal. Okay. With the end hooked to the positive terminal, we're going to try to probe onto this case. And there we have, we have ground. Okay. And going through this light gives you a little bit of resistance, so you know you got a decent ground. Okay, so we know we have a route for power to get back to the battery, and we know the regulator is grounded. The next thing I want to do is let's pull these two outside wires off, and let's try to do an ohms test. Okay, now I want to take, always test your ohms meter. Hope you can see that. Okay, I just put a battery in that multimeter. Let's see if I get. Okay, it's 0.04. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to test each one of these wires going to the stator and make sure they're not grounded. We know this has got a good ground, so we can do this. And still OL, so nothing there. Make sure you. Okay, now we'll try the other one. So. So what we know, there's a path for the center wire to get to the battery. We know that if we touch these, either one of the stator wires to ground, there don't seem to be no continuity. And we know we had 0.4 to 0.5 or something like that across these. Like I say, I'll have to 
go through and see what the values are actually supposed to be. I was kind of worried about not being um, anything at all or um, being shorted straight to ground where it would be no resistance. So now the next thing we can do is start the tractor up and put our multimeter leads in these two wires. We're going to put the red one in one, the black one in the other, don't matter. We're going to start the engine and run it at about 3600 RPM or so. And we're looking for AC voltage, just like your household current, not DC. We want to see, what, 30, 35, 40 volts, something like that, coming across this. Here again, I'd have to see what the actual specs are for it. Okay, I'm going to try to start this up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're looking for, what, 30 to 40, something like that, volts AC, like household current, alternating current, not DC see what we get here and you want to do this with the engine wide open compared to this meter if I seen that right I had 44 volts AC so that's pretty much telling me right there I'm not so worried about what the resistance values were because I have AC voltage and good 40 some volts so that's telling me that my stator is capable of putting out energy I have a path on this wire back to the battery so it has a capability of charging it's just not doing it so I'm gonna to point to the voltage regulator as the probable cause here we know it's grounded and we know there's power going to it and like I say we know we had 40 volts AC across the two stator wires so it's all pointing to that voltage regulator right there okay so I got the new regulator in I sprayed a little contact cleaner up in those wires and we're going to take this bolt out here and it should just should be able to just take that bolt out slide this up out of under put it back under and put the bolt back in and then first thing we're going to do when we put it back in we're going to get the test light and we're going to check and make sure we got a good ground so here's our first issue this little bolt that holds that in fits in that regulator the one I took out it doesn't fit in this one now you probably could force that or rethread this or something like that um, to make it fit this original bolt it looks a little more coarse thread that looks finer thread I'm just going to run over the hardware and see if they got a little bolt so I found a bolt that will fit in there it's an M6 100 thread and it's 12 long um, you could do a little shorter if you wanted to, but this will be fine. It's the shortest they have. And then I got one of these star washers. <coughs> and now the different one with the battery voltage is going to go in the middle. The other two wires here, I just put back wherever they was. Um, in reality, the two outside ones could go in either place. But there's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. Make sure they're on there good. I did spray contact cleaner up in these when I did have it off. So now, with all that on, I'm going to put the voltmeter back on here. We'll start this up and we'll see if we fixed it or didn't do anything. charging again so 
the issue of charging was that regulator rectifier whatever you want to call that thing it's that simple to test remember um, these two are AC and if you take the wires off have it running 38 to 40 volts something like that AC voltage not DC AC is what you got to test across these two if you have that chances are your stator is good when you turn the key on you need battery power here just to make sure that you have a path back to the battery to get charged if not you have to follow that system up and see if it's in the key switch or a fuse or a whatever that could be doing it they're all wired a bit differently and you got to make sure that this is grounded well which 